Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. yeah it's that time again ego weight watchers aka ill where i give you guys a look into the fighter lifestyle before after a progress picks especially when they have that upcoming fight this weekend miguel berchelt he's taking on oscar valdez who was undefeated to pete olympian we're gonna talk about that what up fight world it's your boy ego and i'm back with some more boxing make sure you smash the like button also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang y'all know what to do before i get started order to buddy use the link in the description box of all of my videos to buddy if you have a youtube channel it's a great utility and resources a browser extension i've personally used on my channel to help grow the channel for several years and we over 200,000 and climbing so get to buddy they have a lot of caked in baked in tools for you as a creator and it'll help you navigate with some things that aren't available on regular youtube now let's talk about it ego weight watchers aka ill this weekend now before i get started the funny thing is bear Chell, oscar valdez a fight i'm really checking for my dude Gabe Flores Jr. is fighting on the co-feature of that. Check out my interview with Gabe Flores Jr. Very educated young man. He's the co-feature on that ESPN card. And it was a great interview, you know, so I want to thank him and his team for their time. But check that video out so you guys can hear more about his upcoming fight with Jason Velez. But the main event is another fight that I'm really checking forward to. Miguel Berchelt and Oscar Valdez. Now, the funny thing about boxing is this. You have dry spells, and January was kind of like a dry month. I, I mean, Ryan Garcia fought against Luke Campbell. That was a solid fight. But there were after that, there were moments where there really weren't many fights on. But now this week, we have ESPN has the card with Berchelt and Valdez, which I'm really checking for. It, and also Gabe Flores on the card. And then Broner's also fighting on a different network, on Showtime so you know I hate that when it's all the fights stacked on, on one day but at the end of the day I'm gonna try to watch it all and it is what it is but I checked out this picture and Miguel Berchelt is looking jacked he looking ready ego weight watchers aka ill I want to know what you guys think he's looking absolutely shredded I mean he almost looks bigger than the weight class he's a champion in the weight class he has a good record with a lot of knockouts he only has one loss. Oscar Valdez is undefeated. And this should be a real good fight. But he almost looks bigger to me than the actual weight class of 130. Big dude. This should be a, a good fight. Both like tough willed fighters. Fighters who are going to try to risk it and, you know, lay everything on the line. He seems to be in incredible shape. This is coming off of testing positive for the Rona. They were actually supposed to fight in December. But they said Berchelt tested positive with the Rona. So the fight was pushed back until February. And now we got it. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to this. This, again, will be on ESPN. If you don't have ESPN, um, use my link. I have a link for ESPN Plus, if you guys are interested in that, in the description box. This should be an all-out war type of fight. Berchelt vows and has made a statement pre-fight saying that he's going to release all the poison on Oscar Valdez and I think they're actually kind of friends like you know they cross paths before but they both vowed to separate that and that friendship and respect mutual respect when they get in the ring so I'm looking forward to this fight I am 
picking Bear Chelt. I do think Bear Chelt is a little bit too big, too strong. You know, nothing against Oscar Valdez. He has a great camp. He's with Canelo's trainer, Eddie Reynoso. But I just think Bear Chelt will be a bit too much. I mean, for starters, he looks huge. He looks dialed in. He's strong. He's 9-0 in, in world title fights. So even though he has one loss, he hasn't lost his title opportunities. And he beat guys like Francisco Vargas, and he beat him to a pulp in the rematch, right? So I think he just has the better momentum. To me, Oscar Valdez is a solid fighter, two-peat Olympian. And I just think his, his performances are too spotty. He got his jaw broken versus Scott Quigg. He fought this Filipino cat on the top rank. ESPN card and he got dropped he dropped the dude too but he, he has these kind of hit or miss performances his fight with Adam Lopez he got a stoppage but you know it was a late replace th I'm pretty sure it was a late replacement and it was it was a tough fight for him he was you could argue that he was losing same thing with the Jason Velez fight his last fight the last outing the guy that gave Flores Jr. is fighting now Oscar Valdez he was you know, he wasn't looking sensational in the Velez fight. And I know Velez, you know, kind of gave Ryan Garcia issue too, but it's more so a pattern I've seen with Valdez in several fights. Again, the Lopez fight, fight with the Filipino dude in Arizona, um, Scott Quigg, broken jaw. It's like, I don't know if he sticks to a strategy. He looks to be in shape too, you know, in all of his fights, but I think Bearchild has just overall turned in the more consistent performances at least for my liking so ego weight watchers i'm rocking with bear chelp you know i have no horse in the race i don't care who wins i'm just telling you who i believe would win when i say i'm rocking with him um should be a good fight should be an entertaining fight easy to watch and aesthetically pleasing and i'm looking forward to it first kind of anticipated fight of the year i guess outside of ryan garcia and um, Luke Campbell fight, if you were checking for that, should be an all-out war. Two very um, tenacious Mexican, Mexican-American fighters. I can't wait. We will be doing the Box of Eagle watch party. So check back on the channel if you're not familiar. The watch party is what it sounds like. It's a watch party. We're going to watch the fight. I can't air it for copyright reasons. So I'll just be giving my commentary like... Always, if it's your first time on the channel, consider subscribing, hit the bell notification icon, and come back on Saturday. It's going to be lit for the watch party. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe to next video's Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.